What's going on, pack? Aqua's back. <laughs> I know it's been forever, guys. Probably near more towards a month since I've uploaded a video. I've just been really busy. I've been on vacation for a week. I got a new job this last week, so I'm working like 10 to 14 hours a day. Um, just really <laughs> having a hard time motivating myself to take the time to actually make a video. Um, especially annoying in the last two hours because stuff like this always happens to me. I mean, I, I, the app was working fine before, and then I just tried for the last two and a half hours to make a video, and it would not work on my tablet. So I finally downloaded Mobizen on my new phone and the drawing app and everything, and it seems like it's going to be fine. So hopefully it'll work out on here. We'll see what the resolution is going to be like as well, but kind of curious to see that. Um, but anyway, this video is going to be the first in a new series, if that's what you want to call it. Um, basically what I'm going to start doing is I'm just going to start making videos of uh, scouts for Town Hall 8 bases. So you guys can uh, um, see how they hit them. And the reason I'm doing this is because I see most, some of you guys that are starting to use hogs are having success with them, but there are things that could be done better. Um, I really feel like I explained it pretty well on what you want to take, like your army composition and how you want to attack it and how you go about... Um, um, pathing your hogs, but maybe not. Maybe some people aren't grasping that. So I feel like if I make videos where I do scouts on different bases every war, and it's very base specific, you'll see how I start to think. You guys will you'll see you'll get to the point where eventually you know the best way to hit the base and be efficient with your troops. So that's the goal of this. Um, I hope it works out. Um, yeah. So we'll just jump right into it. Um, I'm gonna have to move this guy. Let's go. I'm going to start on there, 24. I'll do a couple of them. Um, going to try to keep this a little bit shorter, but it makes sense. Okay. So this base right here is going to be super easy with level 4 hogs. Um, okay. Double drawing up. This will work. Oh, where to go? Come on. Okay, so, um, this base, note the range of the clan castle, um, first thing you want to do, and I'm only going to say this for this base, because this is how you're supposed to think about it in steps, I've explained the steps in my hogging video, but you want to decide how you're going to path your hogs. Um, this one, it's not a very, it's not a completely symmetrical base, but there is a break in, 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 in the ring of defenses, um, you're going to, oh my god, I keep doing that. You're going to see a break right here. Um, there's a couple breaks, but this is where I'd want to come in at. Because if you send all your hogs from this direction here, they're going to go that archer tower. Then they're going to go this mortar. They're going to go this Tesla that pops here to this air defense. And they're going to go this way. Um, if any hogs go to this whiz tower right here, it's only going to be like one or two of them. Not all your hogs are going to path there. And that's why... Um, that's a good pathing route. I see some people that might just spam their hogs, let's say, right here. Or just like two finger drop them like right here and this Archer Tower. But actually that's a bad example because still this way, they probably go counterclockwise around the base. Um, this base is actually really easy. But just don't spam them. Really think about how you're going to try to path your hogs. Okay. Anyway, enough of that. Um, one thing that you want to note. So, so you know you're going to path them that way. Um, starting from this archer tower up here. Um, one thing you want to note is that the enemy Barbarian King is very exposed. So you're going to want to do um, a King Swap. When, when the King is that exposed like that, you want to use your Barbarian King to take out the enemy Barbarian King. So he's not sitting there beating on your hogs after the raid when they're trying to clean up. Or they're locked onto a high hit point building, and then he just takes out like five of them, and you only had six left. And it totally screws up the range. So, I want you guys to note his range and see how he comes. His range is um, in range of that barracks on the edge of it. And to note that this cannon is also in range of that spot. So, what I would do is I would drop my Barb King right there. So... Um, the enemy Barb King will come and lock on the hem. You rage him up. He's going to take out the Barb King. He's also tanking 
for uh, this cannon. So you, while as soon as you drop them down, you can send like three hogs to this cannon right here, and you're gonna get the CC lure from that. Um, yeah, those three hogs will get it. This archer tower will be shooting it, but it, it, the cannon won't be locked on. So you'll get the cannon down. They'll go in here, do get a couple of hits on that whiz tower, and get the CC lure. After that. You always want to lure the CC and anchor the CC and kill the CC behind where you're going to drop your hogs. So, you're going to want to take your hogs, or take your archer and put it back on this tower here. As soon as the, if, if it is a drag, um, I, I say drag because most people are probably going to have drags now. Um, if not, you don't really have to anchor it um, because you can just poison it. But if there is a drag, you want to put your uh, archer there. Once the drag gets close, drop like three barbs, then drop your clan castle of witches. Two wizards behind it, and then as soon as he's locking on all the witches skeletons and everything, and you know he's good to go, you can start your hogs. You put your hogs in here, all one finger drop. You could put a heel like right here, and then another one like right here, and another one here. You're really not going to need three of them because the point defense are so low. Um, it'll be fine. Oh, come on. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for that one. Um, yeah, so you're going to bring like six whiz, use two for the CC kill. After you drop all your troops, you'll have the four whiz left. Um, while they're going around, just drop a whiz like right here, drop a whiz on this one, and then a whiz like down at the bottom over here. Um, but yeah, that one's pretty easy. Uh, we'll move on to another one. I could have just pressed the next arrow. How many minutes are we at here? Okay, seven minutes, not bad. I think the recording automatically stops at 10, so try to be quick. Um, this space is kind of interesting because um, point defense are also really low. Um, definitely a hoggable one, but there are double giant bomb spots, or one double giant bomb spot right there. Yeah. Oh, that is the only one. So, um... This is actually good. Usually you want to try the pre-trigger if you can. And there is a hole in the base right next to this archer tower. But uh, if I were you, whatever you're doing, um, I'm just going to drop a barb in there to make sure there's not a big bomb but uh, or a giant bomb. But what I would do is I would send in three hogs to this archer tower. Take out that archer tower, get the clan castle order. Then, I need to remember to zoom out. Then... After you get that lure, I would anchor up here, put your kill squad, three barbs, witches, two is behind that, let that go, and uh, drop a golem. You're going to do a go hoe on this one. Drop a golem, he'll go in there. Um, as soon as he gets in range of these two archer towers, so as soon as he gets in range of those, um, and the mortars take off their first shot, drop two wall breakers. The wall breakers will go and hit this wall and get in there. Um, your golem's probably going to go down here to this archer tower first, but then he'll go back up into this uh, into this cannon. But while those are tanking, as, as soon as those archer towers, or this one at least, locks onto your golem, send the, put like whiz here to make your funnel, create your funnel. And then, uh, yeah, you'll probably only need like, I'd say like three or four extra whiz. So just keep like three or four in there. The golem will go in here. He'll run over the spot, take out this giant bomb. As soon as he gets down in there and everything, um, you can either you can even put your king in there with him and everything. But uh, get some in there. Get, let that golem get in there. Tank for some of this point defense. Um, raid your king up. Take out those giant bombs. And then... Um, I haven't looked at this one much. You could just... Oh, yeah. You could just do a two-finger drop. Um... Send an hogs here and hogs here. Yeah, just two finger drop it. Uh, I mean that one's pretty easy. You could just put like a heel here and a heel here, and you're good. You really only even need two heels. I don't know. Get creative with the last one if you don't want to use them. As long as those heels are well placed, um, yeah, you really might not have to worry about them. So just keep your last one or drop it in the corner if you're cocky. <laughs> That's how I do that one. I thought that was cool because it's going to be a go ho. Um, all right, move on to one more. Actually, we're going to do a bunch more. Um, oh, did this have one have any holes in it? This one did not have any holes in it. People look at bases like this and they think like, oh, you can't hog it. Um, 
for hog, you, you, you could definitely hog this base. Um, it's a great surgical. Um, just get your lure. You could even go cheap with this one because you don't need to take anything out because your pathing isn't an issue. You're surgical hogging, so you could just drop a giant like right here, um, anchor in the corner or something. Use your kill squad, take that out, and then just drop like three hogs here, three hogs here, three hogs here. Um, I mean, until those move in a little bit. So like three hogs on the whiz tower down here, three hogs on the archer tower, three hogs on the cannon, um, and then like the rest of your hogs right there. And I mean, they'll, they'll just, you can use like a heal probably in this area where the defenses are high. Use a heal in like here. Yeah. And even one like back in here. But the, the, the point of surgical hogging is you take out the point defense as quickly as you can because that's the real threat of damage to your hogs. Um, and yeah, it'll be fine. I mean, you're going to hit some bombs, but, um, as when you're using a surgical hog, I mean, the double bombs go off. You're only going to lose like three or six hogs, like in that one certain area. So you'll be good. Yeah, that's a good surgical hog, but, uh, I'm sure somebody will probably not surgical hog it, but that's okay. Just saying. Sorry guys. I'm kind of just rushing through these, um, because I really didn't plan this video too much, but, uh, I'm probably just going to go. To 32 because this is a super cool base. Um, this is Brandon's target, and I really hope you take my advice on this one if you don't already have an army train. Oh, this one's I'm gonna do John's real quick. Um, this base you can hit with a bunch of different stuff. I mean, honestly, go wipe could wreck this base, but if you're gonna go wipe it, use some back end loons. I mean, all you gotta do is like hold on, all you gotta do is like send your golem in here, wall breakers. Get in there. You don't even have to create a funnel. Um, don't drop all your whiz at once. Just drop a couple to take care of those point defense to um, make sure there's not bombs there and they take out all your whiz. But do that, and then you could just rage, catch the edge of that wall, scatter some wall breakers in there so you know you're going to get through. Something like three or four of them so you know you're going to get through wall breakers under rage. Um, but I would hold on to your king. Everything's going to go into the core. You're going to wreck this core where all the air defenses are. And then instead of bringing so many whiz, just bring like, oh yeah, if you're keeping your king, you could just bring like one, two, three, four, so like six loons. Yeah, bring like six loons. Oh, the Teslas are outside. Hold on, I'm just seeing this. The Teslas are outside as well. Hmm. Still. Um, after all that goes down, you could drop a Barb King in right here, and he's going to tank for these two Archer Towers, and he's going to kill the enemy Barb King. So as soon as you drop your Barb King, drop two balloons on this one, one balloon on this Archer Tower, and one balloon on this Archer Tower. But you got to do it quick, because your King's probably going to go down quick. But, uh, yeah, if you do that quick, I mean, those go down, that's four loons there. You could send in, like, two loons here, but there probably are going to be Teslas. I mean, still, it's better to it's better to do that. You're not going to lose anything. There's no giant bombs in the core. You could do it that way. Um, if you full on go wipe, the only worry is that everything gets stuck in the core, and all these archer towers on the backside, and all this defense out here is going to pick. It's, it's going to pick everything off. You still have all the mortars on the outside. That, that's that's why I don't like go wipe. Go wipe with back end loons is better than nothing. Um, you could do a go valo, man. You could send in a golem. Same thing. You could send in. Um, golem, wall breakers, um, put your king in there, a couple of whiz, rage it up, wall breaker those walls, and then send your Valks in. It, it just, it, there's so many things you could do with this base. Um, if you want to hog it, you could surgical, you could loon some of these defenses out here, you could just start off the raid and you could drop your king here, two loons, a loon, a loon, and that'll probably get the sea sealer. Um, if not, send in a couple of hogs on this cannon too. Get the sea sealer, kill the enemy barbarian king, and then after that, you could just like two finger drop all your hogs. Oh crap! One sec. Two finger drop like all. God. One sec. So all these are taken out. Um, 
Yeah, you could just two finger drop all your hogs like this. And then the hogs are going to take out these and go straight into the core. <laughs> and wreck the core. I mean, it's it's just, there's a lot of things you can do with that base. So, sorry if I, I didn't go into too much detail. Uh, kind of didn't plan on it. But it'll be okay. I'm sure you'll wreck it. This one, I'm really excited about. And I, I know Brandon might already have his army trained. I hope. Man, I really hope that you see this and, and try this attack. If not, and you fail, I hope somebody else does. But when you look at this base, look. Look at the holes. There's holes in this base. And they're not perfect to like drop dragons in or do a govalo. But what I would do is I would, I would drop a barb in here and in here. Those are the two holes. Drop a barb, just to pre-trigger giant bombs, if anything. Um, let those go off, and then drop like three, four, five more barbs, just one at a time, until they die. In here, in this hole, to get the CC lure. Then poison the CC. If there's anything else in it, like a drag, then you drag them down to the bottom, take witches in your clan castle, put three barbs down, then put your witches, then two is behind it. After that all happens, this is where it gets sweet. You can drop, take a golem, drop a golem in here. And the reason that I want you to do this is because, look, you take that golem in the hole. That golem is going to tank for this cannon, this archer tower, this archer tower. So one, two, three, four, five point defenses. Um, even that mortar. And probably the second one because of the, oh yeah. So it's going to tank for all those defenses. You drop that in there really quick. After the CC is killed, drop that golem in there, and then you send surgical hogs. This cannon right here is the only one that isn't going to be targeting that golem. So you can send three on that cannon, and then just two, two, two there. Um, two there, even though you really don't need to take out the mortars. You might as well just get in there. Um, you could even go three on these if you want. But you could just do two for the most part, three on some of them. And then in the other hole, after that all gets in there, you could drop your Barbarian King down in here, rage him up. He's going to take out the enemy Barbarian King, and then you could just drop like two and two there. So how many hogs is that total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Even if you drop three on all of those, that's a... Uh, what is that? If you drop three on all of those, that's 21. And then you could wait until the hogs get up in this area and drop like three here and three here. So that's like 27 hogs total. You'll have 27 hogs, I'm sure. Um, you'll have right around there. But that's literally perfect. Just use heals where needed when you see the hogs. When you see a, a giant bomb pop up, I mean, you could use a heal like here for a big group of hogs. You could use a heal here when you see one, or you could use it up here. I mean, it's you're almost <laughs> if you don't trigger a giant bomb or like a double giant bomb and your hogs aren't all grouped up i mean you you could almost do this without heals it's going to be a sweet attack but i really hope you try something like that man it would be cool to see all right guys sorry if this has been a long video i don't know where we're at 18 minutes sorry guys um yeah i'm gonna try to keep the video shorter from now on but um i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys try some of these out especially on 32 um, if anybody else needs their targets analyzed or whatever, and you want to see it in a video, just let me know, and I'll put it up. Um, all right, I'll leave you guys to it. I'll see you back over at Wolfpack.